Can you really lower your cholesterol without popping a pill? It's a huge question, especially with statins being so common. But what if I told you that your daily habits, what you eat, how you move, even how you sleep, could be powerful tools in this fight? Let's break down how you can take control of your cholesterol naturally. First, a quick cholesterol 101. It's not all bad. Your body actually needs cholesterol to build healthy cells, make hormones, and even synthesize vitamin D. The problem is when you have too much of the bad kind, LDL cholesterol. Think of LDL as sticky gunk that can build up in your arteries, creating plaques that clog them up. That's what we want to tackle. So where do we start the kitchen? Your diet is your number one weapon. First up, soluble fiber. Found in things like oatmeal, beans, and apples, it acts like a sponge. It binds to cholesterol-rich bile acids in your gut and flushes them out before they can get into your bloodstream. Next, embrace plant sterols and stanols. These are compounds in nuts, seeds, and fortified foods that literally block cholesterol from being absorbed. And don't fear fats, just choose the right ones. Unsaturated fats from olive oil, avocados, and fatty fish actually help improve your good-to-bad cholesterol ratio. The goal is to swap out the bad guys, trans fats in processed snacks and excess saturated fats in red meat and butter, for these heart-healthy heroes. All right, let's get moving. Exercise is a game-changer. When you do aerobic activities like brisk walking, cycling, or jogging, your body revs up. It boosts your good HDL cholesterol, which acts like a garbage truck, carrying bad cholesterol away from your arteries. Plus, it activates enzymes that clear triglycerides, another type of fat in your blood. You don't need to run a marathon. Just 30 minutes a day can make a significant difference. Now for two silent culprits, stress and sleep. When you're chronically stressed, your body pumps out hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. Guess what they do? They can actually raise your LDL and triglycerides. It's a similar story with poor sleep. When you don't get enough quality shut-eye, your liver's regulation system gets all messed up, and it can start overproducing cholesterol. So, managing stress and prioritizing sleep isn't just good for your mind, it's critical for your heart. Weight management also plays a huge role. Excess body fat, especially around the belly, isn't just sitting there. It's an active tissue that releases inflammatory signals, making your cholesterol profile worse. But here's the good news. You don't need drastic changes. Losing just 5 to 10% of your body weight can lead to a significant drop in your LDL and triglycerides. It's one of the most effective things you can do. So what's the bottom line? For many people, a combination of these lifestyle changes, a better diet, regular exercise, stress management, and maintaining a healthy weight, can lower LDL cholesterol by about 10 to 